business. She shan't be long. Shan't? Try and give me a break here. Uh, do we have to wait for her? Absolutely, she has the money. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hey man, I mean, I had a shitty day too. Um, I, so I was seeing this girl and she told me that she was 21. Turned out that she was 16. So obviously I had to break up with her. You had no idea that she was 16? No! And it, it kills me, but I really liked her. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Why not? It saddens me. Okay. So, dealing drugs to kids, that's kind of fucked up. Well, that wasn't the plan in the beginning, dude. I mean, yes, I, I sold weed when I was in high school, but I grew up. And, you know, I tried to get out of it, but then my dumbass sister went and got a divorce, so I had to help her out. It's funny. You never expect to do shitty things to the people that you love, you know? That's definitely true. Yeah, but then I look at you and I think you got like a great career, man. I mean, and you got a great wife. I mean, look, I mean, it's like, how do I get a, how do I get my face on the side of the house or on a billboard next to a hot lady like that, you know? Actually, it's kind of easy. First, be the high school quarterback and the prom king. <laughs> Start dating the prom queen. <laughs> then, you can do pretty hot shit, so, uh... Get out of high school, try music for a little while, become a guitar player. You're decent, not bad, but realize that's not where the money's at, so you go and uh, take a few classes in hotel management. That doesn't, you're trying to improv too, and your object work is just never where you want it to be. Uh, what, what's your object work? It's like making a fucking sandwich, but the sandwich actually isn't better. Oh, uh, oh, oh, you mean like being a mime? No, you can talk about your sandwich. Well, that's bad improv. But anyway, so at this point, I'm married, have a kid, my life is starting to pick up, and then my wife's a realtor. Wake up, next day I'm a realtor. You know, it's not bad. I only see my boss twice a week, get to make my own hours. It's just, I never saw this where my life's going. And now, if I told you the shit that's going on in my life, you would want to lock me up in an insane asylum. And the worst part is, I can't even tell the person that matters the most to me because she'll only blame herself and that'll make her feel bad. And that's not what I want. 